Hey, Dad, where are we going today? Okay, well, here, zoom in on this book. This is a really good book. If you don't have it, I highly recommend it. If you want to get into uh, mineral collecting, it's uh, it's it, this is an old, the first version of it, published in 1960. But anyways, on page, uh, well, I can't remember what page it is. It's right here. There's a whole chapter dedicated on where to collect specimens. And the place that we're going today, and within this chapter, the place we're going today, uh, it's an outcrop and also dikes and veins. Within this outcrop we're going to go look at, there's a bunch of uh, quartz veins that we had found a couple of weeks ago. Um, it, we could tell there was evidence of someone had previously been there. So we're going to go ahead and check it out ourselves with the proper tools and see what we can find. Okay, so here we are. This is the outcrop. And we'll get a closer look at, at the veins, but this is where we're gonna try digging, see what we can find. Okay, I know they're hard to con discern, but those are, those are quartz veins that are running up through this rock. Not very much of a view up here today, unfortunately. Okay, Aiden, I'm getting it. Yeah. This was a quartz scene here. Looks like it's agate, lined with agate and all the quartz crystals intergrown or grown into each other. Pretty good seam though. So here's a chunk of that seam that I just pulled off the side of the outcrop. But anyways, this is kind of a clue as to what we're looking for. You can see that opening in there with some quartz crystals growing in it. So either we hopefully find some good solid seam agate or we keep looking, chasing this vein and hopefully we'll find where the vein widens and there would be a bigger opening with some bigger quartz crystals growing in it. Okay, so you see some plates up in there? Yeah. Go ahead and pull one out. They're all just solid. Huh? Nothing really. Yeah, well, you never know. They might widen up to where maybe you'll find something like this, maybe. That's all solid agate right there, but there's intergrown quartz in the middle. It might make an interesting specimen if sliced on one side and polished. So here's an interesting little formation here. A little bug opening. Crystals. Is that, oh, that's loose too. Huh, cool. Little 
부분으로 썼네요. 부분으로 썼네요. So this is the this is the piece I just pulled off and that was like really close and I happened to almost get that on film. Oh, I didn't get it on film. Huh? Didn't get it on film. Oh, I almost did. Uh, I I mean it I was filming. Oh, you were filming. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I got to <sighs> Anyways, this is the piece I just pulled off. Yeah. See, that whole thing is going to come. Yeah. Oh, here it goes. Okay. There's some, there's a seam. I think it's somewhat safe to work now. Yeah. Oh, that, that's the, the good seam right there. Okay. Yeah. Now, safe to work yeah okay so here's a really good example of these quartz seams you can see that one's hollow that run up through this rock there's another hollow one right there that's gonna have some crystals in it they all they run straight up the side of this thing all the way up over here on this side too there's a quartz seam right there in the middle of the screen. Well, this is a really good clue as to the potential that might be here. A little intergrown, unfortunately, but those are some big, big uh, crystal faces in that. It's underneath all this moss. Okay. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and work work on this a little bit, I think. Okay, so I just pulled this piece off right here. And that's on the back side, but this is what's cool. This is what I was hoping to see. A bunch of crystals down inside that bug that opens up in the seam. Right there. Okay, so I got this rock out of here. Now for the extraction. Oh man, 
That's a nice plate. Oh man, Aiden, I got a gorgeous plate right here. Oh man. Wow. Okay, so as you can see here, this is really hard to do standing on a ladder, but you can see the the hollow seam right there. And I cleared out this side over here of this seam patiently, carefully. And anyways, so what I'm gonna do is now I can start extracting. This is where all the patience and careful work kind of pays off. Of course, I have nowhere to set these. Those are all crystals. Big crystal plate. that too and I'm, what I'm gonna do so this is what I'm gonna do I have a screwdriver up here I'm gonna pry this side out that way and loosen up these plates uh, and I can't film it unfortunately holding the phone in one hand and doing it one-handed so anyhow I'm gonna have to put the Put the camera down. Unfortunately, that's gonna be a good plate right there. Okay, anyways. Okay, change of plan, because I really want to get this on film. Pause it. Okay, I'm back. It's going to be interesting when it's cleaned up. Big plate. Okay, I'm going to pause so I can carry this thing down.
is double sided. Okay. Carry some specimens now. Okay. So here we are wrapping up our specimens. They're all soaked. Notice we're not throwing them in a bucket. That's true. Okay. It's good to get that. You water. throw them in a bucket, they get damaged. You need to wrap them. Put them in these cheap dollar store uh, plastic containers. That'll protect them on the way out. <laughs> 